All right, Shalom, 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 peace. It's another uh, episode of Don't Shoot the Messenger. It's your brother Ayakwar Math, IQ, as I'm also known as. Uh, you can call me the one, but just call me your brother at the end of the day. All right. Uh, <clears throat> this um, these, these particular episodes regarding Don't Shoot the Messenger are primarily going to be uh, centered around current events. Uh, I'll be doing other um uh, lives for, you know, classes, breakdowns, things of that nature, uh, which would be on, uh, the messengers of the covenant, um, YouTube channel, which, uh, in the near future, I'll, I'll launch that and put that out there, uh, for brothers and sisters to, uh, get acclimated with. Um, uh, so, you know, this particular, uh, broadcast is number two, uh, trying to remain, remain consistent, you know, with, uh, putting out this information for brothers and sisters or what have you, uh, that enjoy or find enlightening, uh, information through current events you know this is going to be your your go-to spot all right so make sure that you uh you know as the cliche goes like share and subscribe uh dislike if you want to doesn't matter just keep the traction moving uh for this particular channel right now uh for your brother i'm uh upload this also on the facebook uh for brothers and sisters on facebook to uh, get acclimated with and can share that way for whatever reason uh not able to stream on both so um i'm gonna figure that out and uh get to it but for now uh all the lives are gonna be on uh youtube and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna double back and, and throw them on um on facebook for those who are, aren't able to uh, tune in live if you haven't subscribed yet you sleeping you sleeping wake up all right uh make sure that you subscribe uh spread the word for your uh fellow israelite brothers and sisters and then we'll uh, go ahead and get to it so i'm gonna try to keep these uh these episodes within an hour uh, depending on how the information is flowing, we'll see, you know, but through the spirit of the most high, while you're shy, we'll get it done. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and then we'll get to uh, the uh, news for the day. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. Now, why isn't this sharing my PowerPoint? Hmm. Maybe I'm not sharing the right thing. Told y'all, I'm a rookie at this, y'all. I might, I might know some other stuff, but uh, this technology boy, some of the stuff got me lost. But um, bear with me, y'all. Let me get it up. Let me just see what screen I need to share. There she goes. All right, let me see if I can shrink that down. Namawa. Shalom, my sister. Shalom to the family. What's up? Hope y'all are well. Let me take this background off because uh, it's kind of getting in the way. Yeah, I'm going to take it off for now. All right. Let's see. What are we looking at? Uh, let me get this up here.
Why the logo ain't disappear? I don't know. Good thing it's only a couple of y'all on, y'all on here right now live <laughs> while I'm experimenting. Uh, I'll get my professionalism down uh, in the near future. But until then, bear with me. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's get to it. Forget the logo on the back. We got to run. All right, so the fake news continues. As soon as this pops up, y'all going to see what I'm talking about. The fake news continues, right? Now, check this out. Uh, This is from the Daily Mail. Uh, The clinic in Ecuador that gave fake COVID-19 vaccines. Oops, let me be clear. I know Facebook got the bots out. They're checking for the language. Uh, But I'm reading the article, Facebook, so I mean uh, YouTube, so don't, you know, flag my channel and all of that. I'm just getting started. All right. Uh, Nonetheless, uh, the clinic in Ecuador that gave fake C-19 vaccines to 70,000 patients who each paid $45 and shut down. So $45 in Ecuador is probably like $100, you know, out here. But it's letting it be known that they've got the little placebo shots, the fake shots that's that's been um circulating around that we've been seeing you know on tv with staged uh shots getting um given to political figures you know certain medical professionals or what have you you've seen the uh fake syringes that they've that they've um shown on numerous videos you know so the gig is up in acknowledgement of knowing that the fake uh jabs is out there and they gave them to ecuador so can you imagine? I mean, that's how much they love you so-called Hispanics. That here you are waiting for your savior in a bottle with a needle on the end to uh, stop the plague of the most high. And they give you the fakes, charge you up. Now they get busted. They want to shut it down. So again, you see how much your oppressor loves you. Right now, uh, it says the clinic where patients allegedly were given fake COVID-19 vaccines was shut down in Quito, Ecuador on Tuesday. Quito security chief Cesar Diaz said that the site administered the bogus shots to 70,000 patients. Here they are running around thinking they protected. Here they are running around thinking that they've received the jab that's safe and effective. (laughs) And it was all bogus. A lot of the the, the onion is being unpeeled with this whole thing. Okay. And we're going to see some more. Uh, The patient that uh, the patients that were administered three doses that cost $45 and IV treatments. What was they giving them, though? That's the question. Uh, authorities are unsure what formula the physicians at the clinic used to inject the patients. They're not sure what formula they concocted and gave these people. Mm. So could this be considered in the same vein where um, the U.S. had to apologize for doing STD experiments? On Guatemalans back in the 50s and 60s, more medical experimentation has been happening? Quite possibly. Hmm. Who knows? We're going to see. Dr. Lucia uh, Penafiel, who was in charge of the site's operations, uh, was caught on video telling an undercover agent that a vaccine was available at the clinic. Uh, Pena Fiel then told the press on Tuesday that she only provided laser treatments uh iv and vitamins to the patients including twenty thousand who had the c word now we're seeing what's happening uh, a health clinic in ecuador has been caught administering fake c19 vaccines to tens of thousands of patients Quito security chief cesar De- diaz uh told reporters that the bogus facility had treated at least seventy thousand patients who were charged fifteen dollars for each of the three doses they were ready required to take he said patients were told they would be immune to the deadly virus once they have received all three doses. Sound familiar? Mm. Diaz said that keto health uh, officials do not know what type of formula was injected. We said that already. So we're seeing the fake jabs is out there. They're mixing up concoctions, injecting them down there to our brothers and sisters in Ecuador. Who knows what they've been giving them? OK, so don't be surprised. And I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying don't be surprised if some new outbreak or some new sickness or some something goes on with the people down in Ecuador because they didn't receive some unknown jab in their arm that they was told was something else. But. Who knows what it was? They don't even know what it is. Only thing they did was shut down the facility. 
Are they going to have any compensation, any extra medical care for the for the people down in Ecuador? That wasn't said. So we shall see. Stay tuned. Oh, most of y'all know this already. But what I want to bring this out for is the fact that they're going to utilize this to say that there is no end. UK finds more coronavirus cases with concerning mutations. OK, uh, Public Health England is investigating cases of coronavirus while worrying uh, new genetic changes that have been found in some regions of the UK. Tests show that uh, show they have a mutation called E484K that is already seen in the South African variant. Although this change may reduce vaccine effectiveness, the current ones in the in use should still work. They should still work. They don't know. Uh, say the experts. There have been 11 cases in Bristol and a cluster of 32 cases in Liverpool. Urgent testing uh, for the South Africa variant is already starting in parts of England and could be rolled out to other areas, seeing different variants with the same E484K mutation. Scientists uh, working with the public health uh, England found a similar, uh, excuse me, found a small number of cases of the UK, uh, quote, Kent variant with the E484K mutation. It was seen in 11 out of 214,159 samples that they tested in predominantly from the southwest of England. It is likely there may be more cases that they haven't, uh, they, they haven't yet been found. The Liverpool area has seen 32 cases of the original coronavirus that uh, have the E484K um, mutation too. So again, what's this telling us that there is no end? As soon as they come out with the so-called jab, uh, the news starts coming out. Oh, guess what? It's mutating. There's more, um, more variants now. How are we going to be able to keep up with the with the vaccines? How are we going to be able to keep up with the with the uh, with the jabs when it keeps mutating? So eventually, they're going to say we can't stop it. There'll be more experimentations, more jabs more requirements, more lockdowns, more restrictions, because they said it's out of control. It keeps mutating. We can't catch up. So uh, be prepared for more lockdowns, more masks, more, more restrictions, more everything. Uh, if, if the, if, if everything keeps going according to the narrative. Uh Oh, California resident dies after receiving the C-19 jab officials say, Oh, so more deaths. More deaths is happening, huh? Oh, okay. This one kind of got buried under the rug. Why isn't this being promoted? What happened to Hank Aaron? We seen him. He got put to death too. Of course, they're not going to say it was because of the jab. No, that's going to spoil the uh, that that that's going to spoil the the narrative. We can't say that. It's got to be something else. Auburn, California story update: Vaccine ruled out. <laughs> of course, why not? Ca cause of death in NorCal man who had. Uh, C-19 officials say the original story. Now, see, this is the update. The original story says this. An investigation was underway following the death of a person who died shortly after receiving a vaccine for the coronavirus in Placer County last week. Uh, county health officials and the Placer County Sheriff's Office issued a joint statement saying the person died on Thursday hours after getting the jab. The vaccine had not been administered by Placer County Public Health, officials said, without offering details on where the person received the jab. Officials did note that the individual had tested positive for the uh, C word in late December. Oh, so now they're going to try to say, well, since they tested positive in late December, maybe that was the cause and he got the jab too late. The jab couldn't save him. Hours after you get it? Mm, when he speak your fair, believe him not. The seven abominations in his heart, and they are physicians of no value. Let's read that in Job. Look at Job. See, before we go there, we're going to read Sirach. Sirach 515. Before we go there, you know, because this is the principal reason that uh, I, I, I'm, you know, created this, this particular channel, these, uh, these episodes, is uh, to bring information, you know, to our brothers and sisters. Like I said, I've been, I kind of been known as the one. Or, or one of the brothers that, uh, you know, have been um, bringing current events to the table within Israel uh, for a number of years now. And, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people always request that I uh, do these particular uh, updates and classes or whatnot or just uh, informationals. So uh, with that being said, I did it in the veins of this. 
So Rock 5, verse 15, it says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So in other words, ignorance is not an excuse. You know, we can't run around saying, I don't know. We can't do that. You know, those are the Negro and Hispanic favorite three words. I think Chris Rock did a, jo a joke about that. You know, when you you asking our people nowadays, what's your nationality? I don't know. What time is it? I don't know. What you eat for dinner? Last? I don't know. I mean, what's two plus two? I don't know. Like, this is the type of mentality that our people have been embraced now. Ignorance. Using three words as a defense. Anytime somebody asks you a, a reasoning, a question, or understanding, I don't know. No, that can't be the excuse. The Most High said, be not ignorant in any matter, small or great. So, you know, through the spirit of the Most High and, and Yahweh Shai, uh, that spirit has rested on me that I've, you know, been been able to go out there and look look for information and research, dig, and uh, bring it to the table so my people aren't ignorant of, of matters that are out there. All right. So we're seeing deaths are still occurring uh, through the jab and after getting the jab. And, of course, the cover up is. It's already been ruled out. Already been ruled out. This was January 25th, so this is last week. It's already been ruled out. That wasn't the reason. How fast were they able to determine that? Interesting. Moving on. Oh, 17 years. This is out of the Jerusalem Post. Now, they're saying over there in Israel, they got the, uh, the fastest rate of the jabs going out. They said almost 50% of the country has received a jab. So they're ahead of the curve. Everybody's getting it over there. Okay. Um. A 17-year-old is in ICU after receiving his second dose of the jab, all right? A uh, 17-year-old was hospitalized in Safra, uh, Safra Children's Hospital ICU at Sheba Medical Center a few days after receiving a few days. Oh, look at that. How fast? They're getting even better. You know, well, a few hours <laughs> for one person that dies. Now it's a few days in the, in the ICU, at least, you know, uh, second dose of the coronavirus uh, virus vaccine, according to the hospital. The youth arrived at the hospital after feeling intense pains in his chest. He does not have any pre-existing conditions. Oh, no pre-existing conditions. But check that out. A doctor from the department said that the boy is in stable condition at the hospital, does not believe that his symptoms are connected to the... What? Uh, is this a talking point for everybody in the hospitals? All of the doctors are saying this. You know what? Hold on. Job. Book of Job 13, 4. It sounds like this is already the statements that all have been prepared to say. You know what? Whatever is whatever happened, just don't blame it on the jab. Anybody questions you? It wasn't because of the jab. Anytime anything happens, any side effects, anything, it wasn't the jab. They've already been given the talking points. You know, that's already spreading around Mockingbird media. Everybody's already been told, don't say it was that that was the cause. Can't be objective. Can't be truthful. Not at all, because you're dealing with the devil. Job 13 and 4 says, but ye are all forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Hello? There you go. So the most I haven't told him. Physicians are no value and their forges are lies. So every time that they come out here and say any information that comes out of here medically, you know, there's always a realm of deception that's following behind it. So we always got to be circumspect and dealing with this devil. Moving on. Oh, check this out. Chinese cities are using anal swabs to screen COVID-19 infections. Oh, you Negroes ready for that? You Hispanics ready for that? You, you love your oppressor so much, you know, y'all running into these lines lined up at the at, at the uh, at the staples, not at the staples, at the forum. You lined up all over the place, lined up waiting to get, you know, swabbed and swiped all up in your nose. Now they're saying that's not enough in China. But remember, where did this all start? Where did all the testing come from? Where did all the lockdown start? What was the blueprint being used? They were using China's blueprint. So don't be surprised. If they pop up over here saying, guess what? Our researchers have found that swabbing you anally is more accurate than your nose. And they was already jabbing you up with a nine, you know, 10, 10 inch swab all up in your nose, touching your brain. Now they're saying bend over and swab. I mean, when does the madness stop? When does it stop? This is even more of a reason for them to see how far can they push you into submission? 
you know, especially for men, if you're a man and you bow, if you bow down and bend over and all of that, I mean, you've already, you know, given yourself over. That gives them pure authority over you, pure dominance. And this is an act of them doing it, saying, okay, how much, how much, how far, how much further can we go? They're wearing masks everywhere that they go. You know, they're willing to abide by these curfews. They're shutting down the restaurant. They're doing everything that we tell them. They, they're scared as hell. They're letting us swipe them and jab them all up in the nose with these Q-tip swabs. And who knows if anything is positive or not. Now let's see if we can get them to bend over and we can swab, they, swab them between the cheeks. Woo! Chinese cities are using anal swabs to screen COVID-19 infections. Uh, Beijing, some Chinese cities are using samples taken from the anus to detect potential COVID-19. I'm reading the article. Who cares? COVID-19 infections as China steps up screening to make sure no potential carrier of the new coronavirus is missed amid regional outbreaks and ahead of the Lunar New Year holidays. Isn't that nice? Oh, so they can have nice little holidays. Isn't that what you want to get? You want to get back to normal, right? You want you want to be ha ha have everything normal? Well, guess what? Bend over. That's what they tell them the chinks. <laughs> That's what they tell them Moab. You you want to get ready for the lunar lunar new year holidays? Well, let us let let us let us bend you over. How long is it before they come over here and saying doing the same thing? How bad do you want to get back to normal? <laughs> We're gonna find out. Uh, a throat swab on a fifty-two year old man in White uh, Weinan, a city in northern Shangji province showed negative result after he uh after the person showed symptoms <clears throat> such as a coughing and appetite loss a city official said on wednesday but he tested positive using nose and anal swab so they doing both it ain't, <laughs> it ain't even enough for them to tell you, you know what they, they tell you the nose that's not enough we need to go to the next level the person who had been put on us uh, put in a centralized facility for medical observation as a close contact of another carrier earlier this month was then confirmed as a C-19 patient, the official told in a news conference. Mm. So not one, but two types of tests are going to be uh, rolled out in China. And you know what's funny is they said it, <laughs> uh, and y'all can look this up. I didn't, I didn't put it on this one, but they said after people get it, get this anal swab, they start walking like penguins. So it's... <laughs> They get the wobbling. I'm wondering, you know, did they leave something up in there? You know, what what type of jab did they really give them? It sounded like more than a swab to get you walking funny after the fact. I mean, count me out, man. This is crazy. Moving on. The CDC issues mass mandate for domestic travel. Oh, really? So we're ramping it up even more. First of all, they were talking about just for international travel. Then they're talking about for domestic travel. But it's not talking about just planes. No, no. Trains and automobiles. What are they talking about any type of transportation that you're doing. You see them on a the bus? Masked up. Okay. The Centers of, uh, for Disease Control and Prevention has issued an order requiring travelers in the United States to wear masks as part of a new initiative aimed at stemming outbreaks of the coronavirus. According to the 11 page order issued on Friday, travelers entering and transitioning throughout the country will be required to wear face coverings in all transportation hubs, which the CDC defines as including any airport, bus terminal, marina, seaport, or other port, subway station, terminal, train station, U.S. port of entry, or any other location that provides transportation. In other words, you can't move anywhere publicly unless you are masked up. And they're talking about Uber, you know, and Lyft and all of that. They saying that you got to send a selfie with you on a mat with a mask on before they acknowledge your um your transportation transaction. So Uber's gonna be included, you know, buses, trains. They said all the seaports, everywhere. You cannot walk around, move around without this uh, mandate. Okay, so more more oppression, more lockdowns, you know. Uh, the language of the order largely puts the onus on transit operators to enforce the rule. Conveyance operators must use best efforts to ensure that any person on the conveyance wears a mask when boarding, disembarking, 
for the duration of travel, the document said. All right, so that's nice. They're, they're looking out for everybody's health. All right, well, let's see. Rapid spread of the UK coronavirus variant in Southern California sparks alarm. Oh, now they're alarmed. But, you know, what, uh, last week, didn't they just reopen? They said everything's great. You know, outside dining is, is back. Gyms are back, back open. But now, all of a sudden, the new threat comes back. So guess what, California? We're probably going to get locked down again. See, it's a roller coaster ride. It's just a complete emotional roller coaster that the so called white man is putting us on. Not even us. Because I'm not paying attention. You know, I'm, I'm paying attention to promote it for brothers and sisters to see the folly in it. But outside of that, you can see what's going what's to be happening. Uh, we just got to talking about it in the UK, the new spread, the new variant, the mutations is going on. So now what are they going to do? They're going to introduce it back over here. It's already came over here. I mean, how did it already get over here? It's from South Africa, uh, uh, the UK. Uh, I mean, people are traveling that that fast, you know, to get over here. Let's see what it says. The spread of the highly contagious uh, virus variant first identified in Britain is sparking worry about a future surge in Southern California, one of the nation's two hotspots of the strand. Of course, of course, the hotspots is going to get it first. Mm. Scientists say it's essential to keep coronavirus transmission low and ramp up vaccinations. Ramp them up. <laughs> ramp them up. The new threat is here. Guess what? Hurry up. Go get your jab. The boogeyman is here. That's going to make you want to go run. And you're going to go get anally swabbed, too. <laughs> Unreal. Okay. Uh, the uh, scientists say it is essential to keep uh, C virus transmission low and ramp up vaccinations quickly. And if the variant spins out of control, hospital systems could again become overwhelmed. The variant known as uh, B117 uh, has been identified of 467 people in 32 states. Florida has seen the most cases with at least 147, followed by California with at least 113. B117 is expected to become the dominant variant within weeks. Oh, they already got their numbers. Isn't that surprising? Uh, L.A. County officials announced the second confirmed case Saturday, and it is spreading in the county. At least two cases have been identified in San Bernardino. <laughs> How you go from two cases to saying it's spreading all over the county, and you only got two confirmed cases? Do you see see the games that the so-called white man plays? The devil's in the details. You got two confirmed cases, and all of a sudden it's spreading all over the county. <laughs> the devil is something else. All right, but check this out though. Mm. Why are coronavirus cases plummeting? W wait a minute. I, I can't tell. The, the spread is here. It's all over the county. We got a mask up for travel. You got to get anally swabbed. People are dying. People are going to ICU. But then they say this. Why are the virus cases plummeting? New infections have fallen 44% in the U.S. and 30% globally in the past three weeks. And experts say Vaccine is not the main driver only because 8% of Americans and 13% of people worldwide have received their first dose. Wait a minute. So it's all of a sudden the numbers are falling 44%, 30% globally. And they said it ain't because of the jab. But what are they doing? They run around parading, tell telling everybody, get it. Get it so we can stop it. Mask up so we can stop it. Six feet so we can stop it. Wash your hands so we can stop it. But they just get through saying that it ain't, it ain't because of this jab. That's not getting rid of it. Well, ironically, you know, we get a new so-called commander in chief, Glass Joe. And he's running around here with his chest out talking about I got 100, 100 uh, jabs for 100 million people or in all of this other food. 100, 100 days, 100 million jabs. I just ordered 200 million more. We're going to defeat the virus and blah, 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 blah. Now, all of a sudden, the numbers start dipping and uh, disappearing. You know, uh, I've seen a, um, a report uh, from uh, John Hopkins and uh, what's his name? Um, Tony Robbins, the uh, motivational speaker guy. I remember back in the day when I first came into the truth, I used to work for this um, this uh, uh, 
what do you call it? Infomercial company. They used to work in a warehouse. They used to send all the information. We used to sell his old his his DVD set called per, uh I think it was called Personal Power or something like that. So <laughs> he, he's familiar to me. But nonetheless, you know, he did a whole little podcast and he was talking about how uh they did the study about the numbers of deaths have not changed uh in any dr drastic measure for damn near the last three or four years he said 2015 17 18 19 and 20 uh 2020 2019 and 2020 numbers were not even that far off from each other so as much as they're talking about oh, 400,000 and died that's because they're inflating the numbers that's because you know the cold common code i just seen a commercial about some um new quote unquote flu uh uh experimental medicine and then at the end of the commercial they say oh this doesn't uh stop the um the c word you know from from you getting infected with it they said even though we know that the uh symptoms are very similar to the flu um you can't use this for the c19 now, how can you tell what the difference is? Because remember, the, the flu doesn't exist no more. The flu, who, who's talking about the flu anymore? Who's talking about, man, I got the sniffles. I think I'm coming down with the bug. You know, I got the flu. Now, all of the, I got a little cold. That's, that's gone now. Because why? Everything's been transferred into the C-19 hype. Now that we see that, now you can see why people all of a sudden are getting better. <laughs> or the cases are falling. Maybe the season is starting to dip down some. On Wednesday, let's read it. On Wednesday, a total of 110,679 new coronavirus infections were reported with a seven-day rolling average of 135,904, a 44% decline from the average three weeks earlier. And mind you, the study that John Hopkins did about the death tolls for the past few years uh, is no longer there. <laughs> the CDC is taking it down. When you can compare the numbers of deaths, you know, and they're, they're not even talking. They said the only thing that the variants were the diseases. Cancer was down, deaths from cancer and all this other stuff. Everything has now been ac uh, accounted for uh, C-19. That's what they're doing right now. So forget about the flu. Forget about pneumonia. Forget about uh, bronchitis or whatever else. You know, everything is. C-19. See, that, that's that's why you got to look at it and say, man, is he being for real? I'm, like I said in my last live, I'm not saying that the thing is fake. Yes, there is a virus. But is it doing the damage like they saying is? Not when you're seeing 99.7, I believe. It could be even higher than that. Are recovering. You're talking about uh, less than three-tenths percent are dying from this so where, where 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 are they getting these death toll numbers from i mean you see the grid right here going all the way up from zero it's flattened out and now it's going all the way up oh we got a big old spike two hundred thousand. now all of a sudden here we go it's dipping but they're not saying this why why are they not acknowledging Hey, guess what? It's not as bad as we thought. It's, it's dipping, and it ain't because you're getting a jab. So you ain't got to get the jab for the infection to go down. Let's read on. The decline appears to be a global phenomenon. Oh, all of a sudden, the whole world is affected by this. <laughs> With new infections falling worldwide for the past three weeks in a row, uh, the World Health Organization said Monday, miraculously. huh? Hospitalizations have fallen nearly 30% from a peak of 132,474 on January 6 to 92,880, the lowest figure since November 29th. Oops. Uh, currently, 44 states are seeing a decline in cases with just Alabama, Louisiana, Montana, New Jersey, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania trending upward, according to John Hopkins data. See that, John Hopkins? They're, they're the same ones that did the death toll. Um, uh, death toll rates for the past, like, three or five years. And they were no different. No different. I think they said that the average was like two, two and a half million. Uh, I think globally. For the for each year, I mean, so.
people are, are, are dying at a normal rate. There's not some big old uh, swarm of death happening. Okay. California's 21,451 new confirmed cases on Tuesday are about one third the mid December peak of 54,000. New York recorded, reported, excuse me, recorded 8,215 new infections on Tuesday, uh, down from a record high 19,942 new cases reported in January. Health experts say it is too soon for the jabs to be playing a major role in the decline, with just 8% of the population having received the first. Uh, jab and fewer than two percent being fully immunized. Okay, so stop believing that it's because of the jab everything's going on. But guess what? They're gonna promote it. The news and everybody else is gonna say, "Go get them. Go get jab. Go get jab." Look what's happening. The numbers are dropping. It's working. As they roll out even more jabs, officials say the drop is likely due to a higher number of people who've had the virus than official counts suggest as many as 90 million people and so they're saying oh maybe it's because more people have gotten it and gotten over it uh and fewer people traveling than they did over the winter holidays oh so they're blank they're saying it's because of the folly days so it's a seasonal folly day disease now you know thanksgiving it it, it goes up uh uh christmas is going up new year's is going up so if you stay away from the folly days we'll drop the numbers well, for Israelites, you're supposed to stay away from them, period. All of the pagan days. We don't deal with that, okay? But all of a sudden here, they're talking about the, the, the it's the Folly Day's fault. <laughs> and But what did the Chinese say? They said, well, guess what? We got to get these anal swabs done so that we can get to the lunar feasts. I mean, the, the, the lunar uh, uh, holidays for the year. So guess what? If you want your holidays... <laughs> wow wow all right so we see what's really going on numbers is going down but they acting like everything is still up you tell me if we're dealing with the devil or not and as they keep on promoting uh the the um the uh the spread of the pandemic more and more businesses are shutting down the economy is being affected people are losing jobs businesses um you know everything is, is is coming under complete collapse but this is by design though you know the middle class all of that's got to be wiped out you're only going to deal we're only going to be dealing with two classes of people the haves and the have-nots period that's where all of this is going this is where we're talking about the great reset and all of that uh i'm gonna do a um i'm gonna do a little uh presentation or a class on agenda 21 which is really agenda 30 which is pretty much the end of private property Everybody living in little micro cities, um, you know, people under complete monitorization, I mean, uh, monitoring and control. Uh, and this is going to be the poor. I mean, if you're talking about movies, look at like Elysium, uh, look at uh, 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 Demolition Man, you know, the, these type of things. These are the ways that they're going. So they got to crush that middle class economy so that everybody can look for what a universal income you know that's why they, they you know they're, they're flaunting around this little stimulus money you know joe biden is saying guess what uh if you don't want to go back to work you don't have to i'll supplement your income with this unemployment benefit you'll be making a little bit more than you was anyway so why go back to work so once you've got a completely dominated society who's completely dependent upon the government the government now controls every aspect of what you're going to do in your life that's where Esau wants complete control. It's not enough that the Mosai said that the earth's been given into the hand of the wicked. He's going to fully show you who he is. And that prophecy is going to be fully, completely fulfilled. You won't have no doubt about who's running the earth. And as we've been saying for years on end, it's a so-called white man. And the Mosai identified him as the wicked. Believe it if you want to. Don't believe it if you want to. Doesn't work. Doesn't move me either way. 10,000 stores are expected to close in 2020. I thought everybody couldn't wait till 2021. You know, once we get past 2020, we'll be on to 2021. Yay, we're on our way. No, no. you're on your way to more, destru <laughs> more destruction, more poverty, more closing the stores. You know, you just got to see the whole uh, Wall Street fiasco that went on, you know, 
where it's exposing and showing you how corrupt the banking system is, Wall Street is. So now that all that's been exposed, guess what? We need to find a new economic system for everybody to be involved in. The Great Reset. You heard it here. Uh, now, Corsair Research predicts as many as 10,000 stores could close in the U.S. this year, which would set a new record. So we've been waiting for 2021. All we're going to see is more records being broken, more of the um, uh, unprecedented word being used throughout the year. OK, as of January 22nd, Corsair said retailers in the U.S. have already announced 1,678 closures, which include ones by Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's and JCPenney. Some of you Negroes' favorite stores, especially your sisters, Bed Bath & Beyond. What you going to do? Macy's. I know, I know, I know y'all love those. I was just at the 99 cent store yesterday and this one was closing by my house. I've yet, when you got a store that's only selling things for a dollar and they can't keep up. I mean, where, where does that leave the rest of the, uh, the rest of the economy? I've never seen a 99 cent store close. I've seen them relocate. And I asked the, I asked the chicken in the store, I said, what's going on? You know, I looked at the, the, the shelves just wiped out. I said, what's going on? Are you guys closing or relocating? And she said, we're closing. I said, well, what, what happened? You know, is it, are there too many 99 cent stores or is it just because of bad business? Is it, things just ain't, you know, the economy ain't picking up. She said, yeah, it's the economy. You know, it's just bad business for us right now. We got to close. I said, wow. When they, when the store is selling stuff as cheap as they are, they should be booming in a time when people are losing jobs and need a good deal. And they can't keep up. So what's that mean for the rest? Mm, okay. Uh, in 2020, Corsai tracked 8,741 closures along with 3,304 openings. So we clearly see the imbalance. All right. It's damn near 5,000 uh, 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 imbalance of openings to closures. But guess what? White man says, I got it all figured out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Your favorite stores, Negro and Hispanics, Walmart, they're going to build more robot filled warehouses at the stores. So guess what? You Negroes are going to be out more jobs because robots is going to take over. Robots will be moving in because guess what? White man said, I'm not paying you niggas $15 an hour. $15 an hour in Arkansas, Alabama, and uh, Missouri. That's like $20 an hour. 21 22 dollars an hour elsewhere you think they're gonna maintain the staff you think the the old the old cat and the and the, and the disabled person checking your receipt at the front door they gonna keep him and her for 15 dollars an hour i think not i think not which means more people unemployed more people broke but hey glass joe says don't worry file unemployment go suck on the teat of the great whore <laughs> and she'll take care of you but guess what when the wrath of that wine that fornication starts infiltrating into your bloodstream and you get turned out you're in trouble you're going down with the ship see that's why the most high said come out of her my people you got to make the separation you got to be able to start being more self-sufficient now because this thing is going down walmart is going to have more robot filled warehouses at the store so you Negroes and Hispanic working in them warehouses at Walmart is going to infiltrate into the stores because that fifteen dollars an hour for the national um, minimum wage is not going to hack it for the small business owner who can't afford that and to pay you for insurance and all of that. Your hours is going to get cut first, and if your hours don't work, you're going to lose your jobs because they can't afford it, and that business is going to go out of business because of the fact that uh, here comes the lockdown oppression. Okay. Walmart is enlisting the help of robots to keep up with the surge and online orders. You know, you already seen the videos of the, of the, of the robots making hamburgers and, and, and pizzas and everything else. I mean, that's who's going to be most affected. The service industry, you know, mostly all, all our people is working in these little service industry jobs. Uh, we're going to be most hard hit. The company said Wednesday that it plans to build warehouses at its stores where self-driving robots will fetch groceries and have them ready for shoppers to pick up in an hour or less. So guess what? All you're going to do is sit on your butt at home, order groceries, and then go drive and pick them up, and the robot's going to come deliver it to you. 
so yeah, you know what? Shaniqua and Sandy and 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 Jesse and 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 uh Shaquan, they're not gonna be standing out there delivering your groceries to you no more, delivering your orders no more. No, that's out. The robot's gonna do it now in an hour or less. They say, Yeah, them, them lazy negroes, they can't do it like a robot. Switch up. So this is where it's going. We're in trouble. Walmart declined to say how many of the warehouses it will build, but construction has started at stores in Louisville, Texas, Plano, Texas, America, Fort, Utah, Benettonville, Arkansas. Oh, remember that? Arkansas. All these spots that ain't paying <laughs> nobody $15 an hour. Okay. Uh, where Walmart's corporate offices are based. A test site has opened more than a year ago at a store in Salem, New Hampshire. Uh, Walmart hopes the war warehouses will speed up curbside pickups where orders are brought outside the shopper's cars. The option, along with deliveries, became increasingly popular as virus-weary shoppers avoid going inside the store. See, you're not going to the stores no more. You're, you're worried about the, the, the C-word. You're scared to go out, so everything gets delivered. Okay? At the start of the pandemic last year, Walmart said delivery and pickup sales grew 300%. See the profits? You think they're going to turn that down to keep you? On the payroll? I think not. I think not. Guess what? If you get out of line, America's already been occupied by the military. The guard isn't going home. Leaders fear retention may suffer. So you know those thousands of troops, the 26,000, damn near 30,000? That they had at the state capitol that they was going to go protect and they had at all of the 50s capitals trying to make sure that no insurrection happened uh, from white ring uh, extremists and all of that. How come they not gone yet? No, no. We're, we're talking military occupation now. Martial law, maybe. I'm not saying that it is. But the formula is starting to smell like something that isn't right. On the morning of January 20th, two divisions of uh, worth of National Guard troops, around 26,000, according to the National Guard Bureau data, shared with military times from 50 states and three territories, stood watching the nation's capital for the inauguration of President Glass Joe. Some even rode the metro to their post, helmets on and rifles slung. Another 8,700 guardsmen, the equivalent of two brigades, were on active duty in their home states and territories that morning. Many were supporting local law enforcement officials and were prepared to defend their state capitals if necessary against what the FBI bulletin described as a potential huge uprising, quote unquote. At the same time, another two divisions worth of troops, 23,000 soldiers and airmen, to be precise, were donning their masks and other protective equipment to continue to fight against the C-19 pandemic. And yet another 34,300 National Guard troops, the equivalent of another three divisions, woke up that day deployed overseas, guarding the southwest border or otherwise mobilized under the Title 10 federal authority. So they were already saying that the troops ain't going nowhere. OK, if anything, they're going uh, possibly in April, I think they said. But as of right now, that's going to be extended because guess what? Good old Nancy is scared. <laughs> this witch she says Na uh, nancy pelosi calls armed republican members of congress the enemy within so there they go satan casting out satan they still battling they still banging on each other she's saying the the, the republicans is in here strapped <laughs> the republicans are strapped and accusing them of threatening Democrats as lawmakers demand more cash for security. So the Democrats say, we want more security. We need more bodyguards. We need more troops. We need more protection. So guess who's going to have to flip the bill? The Democrats. Oh, yeah. Uh, un Uncle, Uncle Joe and Kamala. They're going to say, oh, yeah, we need uh, more security. As they're running around here ready to restrict your gun rights. They can have armed security. They can have armed guards. They can have... Uh, you know, military protecting their homes and protecting their state capitals and everywhere else, but you can't. Not without registrations, universal background checks, not through, without jumping through hoops, you know, not without them restricting ammo buys. I mean, this is what you're talking about full blown oppression and tyranny. All right. Pelosi blasted armed Republican members of the Congress as the enemy within. 
we will probably need a supplement. <laughs> Listen to her, please. We will probably need a supplemental for more security for members when the enemy is within the House of Representatives, she said Thursday. So she's saying they, they're banging on each other. They come and they showing up the work strapped and she's saying we need security. I mean, she acting like they about to just start blasting and shooting out inside the damn state capitol. She's a maniac. And, and, and asked to clarify who she meant, Pelosi said it means that we have members of Congress who want to bring guns onto the floor. So now she's making the accusation that, you know, Republicans is trying to step onto the uh, floor strapped up. Uh, GOP uh, uh, Representative Andy Harris is being investigated for trying to bring gun onto House floor and GOP Rep Lauren Boebert also wants to carry a firearm. Several members of Congress who wrote to House leadership asking permission to hire armed guards and upgrade security measures in their districts. So what's the difference? Whether your armed security has the guns or you do. Uh, I thought that's what the Second Amendment was about, being able to have the right to bear arms. So if these two cats are saying, look, I feel more comfortable with it on me than without, what's the problem? What's the difference between you saying I'd rather hire somebody to have it on them around me? I mean, this is the type of foolishness they plan. They fear threats against them, which continues. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, several members of Congress wrote to the House of Leadership asking for permission to hire armed guards and upgrade security measures in their districts. They fear threats against them, which continue after January 6th uh, maggot riot. Uh, members of Congress have reported receiving a significant uptick in threats of violence and even death, says letter obtained by the Daily Mail. Lawmakers want flexibility to spend their taxpayer funded office and they want you to pay for it. It's taxpayer funded for their bodyguards. Uh, accounts to upgrade security in their homes and have personal guards. You see that? Your taxes is going to be raised up so that you can help pay for their protection at their homes and have personal bodyguards. Isn't that nice? They also want their home addresses to be kept a secret. <laughs> well, that's because uh, they 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 rolled on McConnell and Pelosi's house uh, when they went wanted that money. Uh, that both of their homes got vandalized. Um, but it says Speaker Nancy Pelosi blasted armed Republican members of the Congress as the enemy within the House of Representatives on Thursday as lawmakers asked for additional funds for security and increasing threats to their safety. Uh, so we see what type of games they're playing over there in in, uh, in the White House. Interesting. Oh, isn't this a shame? <laughs> Good old Mike, you know, the, the, vi the VP that, uh, you know, are, the, these Americans have been running around here calling the traitor, you know, Donald Trump's ex VP, some of you Negroes and Hispanics was loving him, but he's on the move. Mike Pence is homeless <laughs> and is now couch surfing with Indiana politicians after leaving office. Can you imagine? Wow. How the mighty have fallen. White man's homeless now. I love it. I love it. <laughs> he leaves the white house. Now he's homeless. Him and his, him and, him and his white woman. <laughs> Uh, are you one of you, one of you Negro bootlegging Negroes? You you gonna pick up the uh, pick up the tab and, and and let them stay at your house? You know, <laughs> what about one of you Hispanics, Native Americans that 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 you know loved uh, Mike Pence or Donald Trump or any of these politicians? He's you know, he's homeless. <laughs> I love it. The both sides said he's gonna bring them down to complete desolation. And this is this is just the start. You worried about not having somewhere to go after you left the White House. You're not going to have nothing left. Thus said the Lord, Lord according to Obadiah. None shall remain. All right. Uh, Mike Pence is homeless. <laughs> and is now allegedly cow surfing with the Indiana politician after leaving office, reports claim. The former vice president and his wife, Karen, oh, <laughs> ironically, Karen, uh, are residing at a cabin that Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb uses as a retreat. <laughs> so they got a little hideout. They asked them, can, can we shack up at the, at the cabin? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm in a tight spot right now. I need a spot to, ki to, to crash, me and me and Karen. Uh, an advisor for former President Donald Trump reportedly told the news outlet Pence doesn't have a home or anywhere to live after leaving the White House. Pence flew on a government plane to Columbus Municipal Airport in Inauguration Day to return to his Indiana hometown. He landed with his wife and two daughters, Charlotte and Audrey, after attending President Joe 
uh, Biden's inauguration ceremony on January 20th. Let me also take a moment to say thank you to President Donald Trump and Melania for all that they have done to make America great again, Pence said as he arrived. We will always be grateful for the opportunity that they gave us to serve. He told the crowd, I've already promised Karen we'll be moving back to Indiana come this summer. There's no place like home. <laughs> so he, he's homeless until the summer. He, he's got to work a new hustle uh, till he can get a new spot to stay. Well, one of y'all want to open up the door for him? Y'all going to let him stay at your house? <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, look at the state of affairs that's going on in the world. People are out there walking around like zombies. Uh, studies have shown a zombie nation is amongst us. Yeah, and we ain't talking to walking dead. We're talking for real. Mentally, this is what's happening with a lot of our people. A lot of people have checked out right now. You know, they're already talking about, you know, quarantine fatigue and, you know, PTSD and, uh, you know, all of the um, the different mental uh, diagnoses that's been happening. So here they go. What are they saying? Zombie nation. A third of adults are walking around in a concussion-like days due to stress and a lack of sleep. People up stressing, lack of jobs, money, finances, crime is up. You know, uh, people around you are dying. Death tolls are being being thrown. Fear mongering is on every channel. So people are out here walking around in a daze, let alone locked into an locked into a device. Falling all over the place because they can't take their eyes off to the screen. Lack of stress. I mean, be, due to stress and a lack of sleep. Columbus, Ohio. Here's a pretty good reason to make sure you're getting enough rest and relaxation in your life. That's why the Most High gave us a Sabbath, Israel. Most High said, I know six days throughout the week, do all your labor. You're going to get wore out. But guess what? I'm going to make sure you have an opportunity to rest, recharge, reconnect with me. You know, that's what the Sabbath is for, for us to be able to reconnect with the most high, to lock back in with our power, recharge so that you can go through another six days of hell. And you're able to come together and convene with fellow brothers and sisters who's going through the same things as you so that you can all come together, worship, convene, build, then be prepared more stronger than ever to go back into the world and fight the good fight. All right. Uh, here's a good reason uh, to make sure you're getting enough rest and relaxation in your life more than a third of people are walking around with the same symptoms as a concussion due to stress and lack of sleep suggests a new study then you wonder why people are walking around here with losing their minds losing their minds you see it all the time you know from road rage instances to people having accidents people just being drug and that's just a natural lack of sleep and stress we ain't talking about those who's drug dependent that's popping pills for their escapism smoking all the weed that they can for their escapism for popping you know for for messing with the lean and the hair on and um uh meth and everything else that's medically trying to induce themselves in these particular comas and concussions so that's going to increase from a third you might as well put that up to two thirds maybe more than that of people in the zombie state uh a new sir excuse me a survey more than thirty-one thousand people shows that the insufficient sleep Mental health problems and stress were the causes of a whole host of symptoms. Doctors are used to seeing in head injury patients, uh, <laughs> people that acting like they got hit upside the head. Uh, symptoms of doctors called post concussion syndrome range from pre uh, persistent headaches, dizziness, and anxiety to insomnia and loss of concentration and memory. So you can see what's happening. People are mentally checking out uh, in the, uh, the spirit of the world right now. Oh, but guess what? You know, this is what happens when you're quarantining and chilling or uh, Netflix and chilling, whatever you want to call it. Nowadays, people locked up in these homes, as Tracy Morgan would say, especially black folks in the hood, you sex is a sedative. You know, that's why we having kids at 13 and 12 and 15. You're going through all the hell that we're going through. The only, the only solace that we have is in the bed. Which is wrong because what the most high gave us plenty of law, statutes, and commandments to learn how to court and properly engage in a marital situation. You know, that's why the law is there so that we don't go out there frivolously fornicating and getting ourselves caught up in the mix. Because now, uh, one in five Americans have sexually transmitted diseases. Oh, yeah. So, you brothers out there who's out there getting uh, caught up in catfished and, and thirst trapped, all on your little social media is chasing around these chicks. <laughs> And these sisters, watch yourself. You better get locked in with these law, statutes, and commandments and start walking according to 
righteous uh, uh, moral behavior because guess what? Could be waiting for you on the other end, looking for a good time, looking for that fast little, you know, that fast little hookup. You might mess around and catch something that you can't get rid of. Okay. Uh, sisters too, you know, don't be, don't be getting caught up looking for your, your, your dream bro savior online or whatever. And you don't know what he got because you're not using wisdom. You're not, uh, being, uh, having your relationship filtered through the law, you know, living out there frivolously. Cause that's what the world promotes. The world promotes man, go on out there do what you're going to do. You only live once. YOLO. Remember that? According to Drake. So you might as well go out there and do your thing. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that you might come back with something that you will regret. Okay. New York. Uh, new federal data show that an estimated one in five people in the United States have a sexually transmitted infection on any given day. And half of them are in people under the age of 24. So it's affecting the mental mind state of the youth. The youth of the ones running around here doing things frivolously you know that's why the youth got to be trained up right see let's go to psalm psalm 78 we're gonna read the fifth verse and we're gonna keep reading book of psalms 78 reading verse 5 it says for he established a testimony in jacob and appointed a law in israel which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children so it's a trickle down theory as far as the law statutes and commandments is concerned we're supposed to be passing this down to our children, not teaching our sons and daughters how to twerk. I mean, teaching the daughters how to twerk and do all these little crazy challenges and thinking it's cute. You know, you see these sisters out here twerking and all that and the babies in the background, you know, crying. And it, it, I seen a video one of, one, one of the brothers has shared with me. Uh, it's a sister out here trying to do some damn live. And the kid is in the background talking about, uh, uh, are you working tonight or? Basically, knowing that his mother was a harlot. Are you are you working tonight? Are you tricking tonight? Some something he said. It was unbelievable. And she was like, No, I'm not working. Get out of here. And I'm like, I, I know some of y'all seen this. So I'm not tripping. But this is the type of thing that's going on. And the most I told us, no, teach your children these law, statutes, and commandments. Because you know what? If we did, we have a better moral society, a better morally uh intact nation, you know, and civil, uh civilly mattered nation, instead of looking at People under 24, one out of five, you shaking the dice. Okay. Uh, verse six, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and to declare them to their children. So it said, even if you don't have children, your mind's supposed to be meditating on the law, statutes, and commandments. According to Joshua 1 and 8, it said, we're supposed to meditate therein day and night. Okay. So even if you don't have children, most I said, you should be already thinking about how you're going to raise them up and train your child up according to these laws and these commandments. So that they can to declare them to theirs. That's how we build. All right. Um, verse seven. It says that they might set their hope in the most high and not forget the commandments of the most high, but keep his commandments. It might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with the most high. So without that spirit of the most high, not being steadfast, not keeping up with these law, statutes and commandments, we see where it goes. All downhill, all downhill. Okay. Statistics from 2018 were released on Monday by the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Nearly one in two incidences, uh, STIs were acquired by people aged 15 to 24 years old. Federal authorities estimate that sexually transmitted diseases cost the healthcare system billions of dollars annually, and those acquired in 2018 alone will add $16 uh, billion in direct lifetime medical costs. So it's only going to affect the economy even more because they're going to need uh, medical treatment. And you're talking 15 to 24. This is where the, the high risk areas is at. All right. Oh, war is still on the table. Don't sleep. You know, how was I said wars, rumors of wars are going to be there. Matthew 24. Uh, nuclear war with China or Russia, a very real possibility. U.S. Strategic Command of Chief uh, Commander in Chief warns: All right, the United States must be ready for a nuclear war with China or Russia, and seek new ways to deter both countries' use of newly acquired advanced strategic weapons. The commander of the U.S. Strategic Command is warning in a major new review of the global balance of nuclear forces. Admiral Charles Richard, uh, writing in the current issue of the U.S. Naval Institute. 
journal proceedings offered a blunt and detailed assessment that the luxury of living in a post cold war era when a direct armed conflict with a rival nuclear power was not possible is over it's over okay there is a real possibility that a regional crisis with russia or china could escalate quickly to a conflict involving nuclear weapons if they perceive a conventional loss would threaten the regime or state the four-star admiral wrote the pentagon must shift from a principal as assumption that nuclear weapons use is nearly impossible to nuclear employment is very real is a very real possibility he urged in the new survey so nuclear war uh the talk of it the rumor of it is there so we got to be relevantly paying attention to what's going on all right C can somebody explain this to me <laughs> this is gonna be my last my, my last slide for the night can you explain this to me why would a trillionaire owner of amazon jeff bezos who just announced that he's re uh he's stepping down as a ceo why has he got a bug big old roach like uh, beetle bug at his mouth i just thought that was interesting i don't have the answer but i do because <laughs> as you see the supply food chains are going to be uh more scarce famines are upon us the food supplies are being damaged by you know the fallout from the the, the chemtrails the earth is not rendering its um its minerals anymore like it used to and guess what their answer is they've already did the study saying now you can eat bugs for your um for your diet uh they've already talked about eating your own poop oh yeah eating your own poop i'll bring that out next time as a means to eat survive and even diet yeah lose weight eating your own poop that, that 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 study's out there okay uh clone meats all of those things is out there so what he's introducing is look i'm a trillionaire and if i'm willing to do this you will too you will too so it's a changing under guard changing the mentality showing you where this whole thing is going okay showing you where this thing is going when a trillionaire says look i'll put i'll put the bug in my mouth i'll be the first one to do it so we see what's going on all right so with that i'm, I'm gonna leave you with uh look at john look at john eight and uh i'm gonna read verse 32. book of john eight and verse 32 and that reads and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so with that being said brothers and sisters i bid you shalom and remember don't shoot the messenger